I'll check my character sheet again, see what points I got. Seven. Could use one more for that. So, I'm off to the ocean house. The ocean house is, uh, in my opinion, the freakiest part of the game. It's, uh, I've done it, so I'm not going to be startled by it. You're not playing it, so you're not going to be startled by it. But when you first play it, if you've never seen this before, it can get kind of, you know, startling. So, I would suggest that, uh, if you would like to play this game, and you were watching my video, to see if you want to, either skip this section if you want to keep watching, or go play the game now. I'm going to try to talk less in this section. Was that not over there just a few seconds ago? Remember, we're here because of ghosts. Need to get rid of a ghost for a bitch. See him with an axe, and he's gone. Ow. Grand opening. Santa Monica celebrates the new Ocean House Hotel. Hmm. The biggest part I hate about this is it gets pretty dark, and you always need to go into the dark sections. <laughs> Perhaps I don't. Difficulty of eight. Jesus, I don't think I'll be able to pick that. <laughs> hotel hell. Child sever head found in hotel laundry room. Oh, it was opening on its own. To be spooky. <laughs> Isn't that just inviting? Boiler room key. Fucking ow. Bar on my left is health in case you guys forgot because I'm not sure if it was ever clearly announced. Regenerates pretty quick because I'm a motherfucking vampire. However, it doesn't regenerate crazy fast. Elevator.
Fucking poltergeists. F fucking poltergeists. Don't do it. Another body. Police say a second child was chopped up like firewood. Ow! Not what I meant to do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swing an arm. I already apologized for swinging the arm. I really think you need to grow up, ghosts. I'm sorry, you don't need to grow up. Dodged, bitches. Murder suicide. Ocean House killer, probably or possibly responsible for Inferno. Yeah. I'm an idiot. First, we will read this diary. This is the charred remains of what looks like a diary. This is back in the 50s. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week-long holiday here in Santa Monica, and Ed has booked us a room for the hotel's grand opening. It's a wonderful place, almost magical. Children have been swimming all afternoon. <laughs> The first two days have been almost perfect, except that Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes his jealousy can get the better of him. Hopefully he'll feel better tomorrow. Sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems a little on edge. Keeps guessing as to who my new boyfriend is. Silly Ed! <sighs> Never write silly somebody. Never say, silly somebody. Apparently when you write it, it turns him into a murderer. There was a picnic for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. I don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seemed to brighten up was when he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their tools. We only have two days left, and thank God we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me or the children, and I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he's suffered some sort of breakdown. I just, or I've told him we can go home, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. Ed left early this morning, and I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in another hour, I'm going to call the hotel manager. Against my better wishes, Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. I'm going to send Tiffany down to fetch him if... Wait, someone is knocking at the door. Oh my god, Ed, covered in blood, coming to kill me. Locked myself in the bathroom, he's gone crazy. He keeps shouting we'll be together forever, and he'll never let me go. Someone please help... And then the writing trails off the end of the page. Who... Would... Alright, I'm sorry I was criticizing you for writing when you were dying. Damn it. 
gonna hide from bots. Apparently you can't just always hide. Uh, I must go. I'm a Malk. We don't be careful. We'll accept when that happens. I'm all sorts of platformer in in this shit. Murders unsolved. Mother or father could have been the Ocean House killer. I'm thinking it was the father. I saw movement on the other side of that. And a really big spider web. Going through here. No, I am not. That is a closet. Uh, fuck out. Me out, bitter. Can't see sh Ah, fuck. And there went the chick. I'm gonna follow her. She seems to be helping me. Stop running away so fast. gonna go those ways. Or that way. There's no way around here. I think I'm gonna have to jump that. Ow, ow, ow. Can't go that way, but at least it's light. Ah, that steam fucking hurts. <laughs> Shit, it's killer. And now I feel still. Oh, fucking shit. Alright, I'm kind of close to dying, so I'm going to save and wait for a little bit. And when I say wait, I mean keep going. Uh, I can walk on ghost stuff. Cool. Gotta go fast. That's the pot thing, okay. No, nope. there we go. And there we go. And I would just like to say goodbye. Oh, let me over. <laughs> and I'm out. BAM!